I swear to God. Depression really is serious. Yeah. When you nigga know, when the shit just get overwhelming. And everybody like pray to God. And how, how much can you pray to God? And shit don't change. That's the question. That's my question. I ask everybody. You pray to God, you can pray to God all day. And like I say, I'm not no lazy nigga that I pray to God because I know at the end of the day, you gotta get up and he open door for you. Like me praying for God, every, praying to God every shit, just like I'm getting forgotten about or something. You feel me? Like, cause shit always happening, my shit keep on getting pushed back. About my getting my prosthetic. You know what I'm saying? Need people to help me live like and that shit. That I shit. My prescriptions a certain amount of how I take them. You feel me? That's how I want to take them when I come in here. Y'all can't just all of, all of a sudden switch my shit up and then think my blood pressure ain't gonna go back up right. and my heart rate gonna go back up. Right. Y'all just switch how I've been taking it. You feel me? What I'm saying? And then y'all gonna say, uh, yeah. no, motherfucker, it's not my heart. It's not. Y'all strange me from to school. That can fuck you up. You feel what I'm saying? Like. Y'all ain't getting it, but y'all want y'all want to think y'all know everything. You feel what I'm saying? Like, who who know who don't know a prescription can change? You know what I'm saying? Make you have strange effects if it's abruptly taken from you, or and, and my doctor just told me don't get off of it like that. She like I gotta wean myself off of it. They just start giving it to me completely. You feel what I'm saying? So like if I got sick, but that's a whole nother ball game. You feel me? So. Yeah, man, I wish I would have been on that shit cause I ain't no Percocet for sucks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when I was in the hospital for them two and a half weeks, yo, I didn't know Percocet was, 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 was sound like that on the streets. But I was kept on time, no, I don't want that shit, that shit kept on making me itch. Okay, every time you know I take, they, I was itching like a bitch, you know like I, couldn't, they, I couldn't sleep. You know what they had to give me? I was going to say, give me Benadryl, and it stopped, it stopped it. I took my medication, I was in this bitch, I, was, I forgot. I was watching, right? So I, I got my cup of water in my hand, like, before he drank it, I went up all the whole bed, right? Cause I didn't nod it off in the, in the bed, like, so good. Wet. I'm mad as shit. Like, 4.30 in the morning, you know what Guess what nigga like me said, fuck it. You know what I mean? like, that was it. And that would woke me up, and by the time that the whole, all this was wet, I'm like, how much water I have in that guy? Like, <laughs> like, he went right back to fucking see us. I fuck this guy, I got up. They like, that's Jones, you pissing the bed? Nah, that don't. That's the water, <laughs> like, I fell asleep with the cup in my hand, you feel me? Like, this shit, it'll make you do it, it'll make you nod. You can't even can't control the nod, you feel what I'm saying? I know. You be sitting You'll be gone. <laughs> I know, I'm right man. Back, I'm like, that shit crazy. I hate depending on people. I never depended on people to help me with nothing. I never asked nobody for nothing. Never. 
Like the same, like I tell them the same dudes I hang with, that's who I hang with. But if I found that that's serious, to ask them, I know if they got it, they'll give it to me. So I don't sit around and like ask niggas for money because I don't need money. Or well, I don't need all shit that I can, that shit get done. But at the end of the day, See how this out when I go to see the psychologist. See how things work out. And that'll be it. All I just want to do is walk without these crutches. I done had these crutches for a year now. I just, I only think I don't know how to walk without the motherfucker. Take it, you can take it like that. But me, I don't want to see a nigga who ain't with GME with a GME TV shirt on. That's all I'm saying. Cause it, it, that's all. That's that's all I'm saying. Whoever, I say, if you can't bring out more than ten people to watch you perform, quit rapping. I mean, I, I understand you got a lot of you got their teams are right, cool, but can you bring 10 people beyond your team? You get what I'm saying? Like, it is. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You should, you, should be, you should be glad when somebody said that. Can I get in there? You can call all your cousins and neighbors yeah. and everybody, like, yo, you try to get somebody to go. That's the first like, place to start. Give me a slot. What's you got faith in the slot? No, oh, I'm there. And then it just beat up. <laughs> exactly. And I mean a lot of these And a lot of these niggas is just getting off the porch. They don't remember the five seasons when it was on Charles Street. Because the building that they in now, they used to be Monique's comedy club. See, but it don't even it don't even gotta be about them knowing what what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's like it got to do with business now. You feel yeah, respect it too. Like and the whole thing is like, as a whole, people kind of get along here. You feel what I'm saying? You, people keep on saying, why they skipping over us, all the more niggas. And the niggas looking at us and see that we don't even hold good together. You look and see how many people bounce from organizations to organizations. I can tell you some real shit. So when I left, I went by myself. If I went back out with a nigga, it was with my same nigga. You get what I'm saying? It don't be even no other camps and and all of that, and all of that. You feel Yo. I mean, I ain't gonna say we're not hungry now, we're definitely less, but at the same time, we all got different responsibilities, so there needs to be a little extra added incentive. So, like, mm -hmm. like me, you know what I mean? I, I was telling Dre in the van right now, I was like, yo, remember when we used to go to Rhode Island and all that, and the niggas couldn't make it? I was like, I got it, everybody going. We went to the club, everybody drank, everybody, everybody's going to have a good time. I was like, but now, yo, 
I ain't got it, so that's why I don't say nothing no more. And he was like, no, nah, yo, I've got people that got it. I was like, that ain't me, though. I've I, I never been that dude that asked nobody for nothing. It's hard to even give me something. So, you know, I was like, he was like, but no, nah, look at this text right here. The dude from traditional accent was like, um, how much you need for the ATL trip? He was like, we good, yo, we going to that, yo. And I was like, I said, that's what's up. I'm just used to being able to carry him all the way. I was like, yo, I ain't got shit. Yeah, hey, but see, that's... Like, that's... Nah, yo. So he was passive about that, but I'm like, yo... You know, respect my invitation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, but see, but see, on the flip side of that, you know what I mean? Drake gonna come from good stock. You feel me? Okay. Wayne, that's family. That's his blood cousin. And he trying to see that nigga make it. Uh, yeah, I understand. No, I understand. That's you know. I understand. That's what, I mean, that's how I felt about all y'all in, in, in the jump. Like, like right. you know, when somebody say, they, you know, gee, I gotta pay my rent. That's a bad. No, you going. Fuck that. I got you. And so I, I never, you know, was like, damn, took niggas here and ain't even did everything you did. Come on, I was saying, and one thing I used to always say, no, we didn't. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to tell y'all that, nah, we ain't do nothing. People ain't gonna remember us tomorrow. Yeah. You know, what well, they ain't gonna talk about us, they might remember. But it's like I said, it's, it's a thing that you gotta do when you do shit. You gotta make your shit memorable. Like, tell me, who, who you really see at the end of the show now giving out CDs after they perform? That's leaving your mark right there. Niggas, niggas bring that CD out and don't bring that CD. You feel me? Like, like, like I tell you, like, watch how I do when I get it, when I add all this shit. I'm just if you do a project, I'm just gonna get it printed out and I'm gonna get this shit away. You make out better. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta you gotta lose money to get some money. You feel what I'm saying? No, I understand. So, I feel like I feel like there's ways around it. I mean, that's still still doable. But I just feel like there's ways around it at this point. We all we all know better. We all know everything, so we we, we could definitely do better. We we was down we was down at Chucha Joint. Nah, I ain't make it. Me, Draco, and um, we were all, all down there. And, um, your CD stayed in the bag the entire time. You really didn't know it was the release part. Man gave a few of his out for Chucha shit to sit in the bag and then next to the food the entire time. I had to get my own out of there. I was like, damn. Uh -huh. nah, niggas, that niggas scared of the game, man. When it comes down to the part that you have to actually do something, nah, the recording shit fun. You gonna get some blunts, you gonna get some pills, you gonna get some, some you know, some drink, whatever. Mm -hmm. You gonna throw on a beat, you just gonna, yo, what we gonna do? Ah, uh, nigga, we just, let's just write and go in. Nigga, yeah, well, yo, that song was hard as shit. <laughs> and then that's that. And then, all uh, right, we got like 20 songs together. We'll pick which 15 we want for the CDs. Don't even get CDs half the time, just upload it free to that film. Then you done. You might have a release party, get a couple of other people to perform. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. It's time to make another CD. Your release party was your was your celebration of this hard work that we've done to get this project together. Now bam, here it is to the public. Now let's go hard with it every day. Every day. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, yo. Ben was sad, yo. For that little short time of fucking with him real heavy. Showed me a lot about this fucking game, yo. He showed about that game alone, like. And the crazy part, yo, damn it, every connection that nigga made, I introduced him to all them fucking connects. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas straight put up money for your shit. And, and how you fuck, and yo ran off and fucked them niggas over and all that shit, right? Nigga, where, where niggas come to me like, I'm ready to kill this nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? Business. And, and your, your company is a company, an actual LLC company or something, then yeah, then the papers and lawyers and shit supposed to come to play. Mm -hmm. But when it's personal, either way, if it's money, like what happened down Deep Flow when they said the boy percussion, his brother or whatever took the money or something out the state safe or something. Yo got on the radio and blast him. It was like, yeah, clown ass nigga, if I catch him, I'm busting out of Like, yo, don't do that on the radio, yo. Just handle that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But he got all on the air, but they, they supposedly squashed it, but we shouldn't have knew nothing about it. No. Exactly. You know? But but yeah, you know. You're supposed to keep but, certain shit but, in the house. At least that was a real issue because it was a couple of it was a couple of stacks involved. But, you know, when it, when it ain't nothing, just some he say, she say stuff, or who like a girl more than another deal or something. Well, like I say, as long as I got the team, my team, like, we go through our shit, but at the end of the day, we get shit done. And ain't nobody fucking with us, really. Like, and I, and I ain't even saying that on no cocky shit, none of that shit, because I'm not even that type of person, but... What we already do, ain't nobody gonna be fucking with us. Cause we, we ain't gonna be go harder than.